Welcome to another episode of Airquid Whiskey Studies. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the 2021 committee release, the Ardbeg Scorch Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. But before I get into this, here is a little bit about this whiskey. The Ardbeg Scorch committee release Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey was released on April 29th, 2021. It is matured in ex-bourbon American oak cast, heavily charred by the fiery exhale of Dunnage Warehouse Number no. 3's definitely real and not totally made up flavor breathing dragon. It is non-chill filtered, has natural color, it's bottled at 51.7% alcohol by volume. It retails for about $150, but some scalpers are selling it for $500. The Ardbeg Day version will be released on May 25th, 2021, and it will be bottled at 46% alcohol by volume. So I think this is going to be a whiskey that is going to be sort of on the fence with a lot of whiskey lovers. For some who are absolute peat heads who think, hey, you can never get too much peat, too much smoke, too much barbecue, they're going to absolutely love this. For other people, they're going to think this whiskey is just too much. So like a lot of other art bed committee releases that can sometimes be a little experimental, do something a little outside the norm, like the art bed drum that was on a rum cast, a whiskey which I knew straight up, a lot of people are gonna love it and some people are gonna be meh and not be all that uh, real big on it. The art bed black, I really, really love. The art bed dark cove, my favorite still, the ultimate uh, art bed whiskey period, let alone the committee release. This one, some people are going to really, really love this. I think this is a whiskey in which you have to sort of learn to love, but also use it in a way that might not be expected. So on the nose, this is one of the peatiest, darkest, smokiest, briniest, um, fieriest whiskeys ever put out by Ardbeg. The only bottle that gets close to this is the Ardbeg Supernova. So if the Ardbeg Supernova is right up your alley, then you're gonna absolutely love this one. For me, the Ardbeg Supernova was a little over the top, and for me on the back of the throat, it was a little bit rough. What I found to be an absolutely superb, powerful, the ultimate dram was take 50% of the Ardbeg Supernova and blend it with the Ardbeg Cory Vrecken. I found it to be absolutely explosive. This is sort of going down that alley, except for it's more of a charry character than just a lot of heavy duty peat. So a lot of barbecue. Imagine if you had a barbecue, you barbecued some meat, you put a lot of barbecue rub, a lot of barbecue sauce, and when you finish barbecuing the meat, there are all these drippings from the barbecued meat at the bottom of your barbecue. And then you took that and you put some whiskey in that that's what this is like. This is one of the most intensely peated, barbecuous, most savory, and most intense whiskeys ever to come out of Ardbeg. And I think that is gonna sort of put some people off because I would not say that this is a balanced whiskey. It's not a whiskey with finesse. This is very much in your face. So what you get is a lot of smoke, a lot of peat, a lot of barbecue sauce, and a lot of briny character, which reminds you a little bit more of something like from Laphroaig. It's a little challenging to get fruit notes out of it. So mostly what you're getting is molasses, ketchup, brown sugar, or a little kosher salt, or whatever you like to use on your barbecue rubs. Wow. Now, this isn't the first time I've tasted this. Obviously, I've got it past the shoulder. But every time I come back to it, I get that same sort of a reaction out of it. It's just really, really intense. Really makes you sort of reel back. I get some sweetness up front that is wrapped in smoke and chocolate. A charry peatiness. This is a peat character. I, I think of a fire that has already gone out and you have that sort of ashy black coal and burnt wood character. I get a lot of that. The alcohol is very, very intense, but I think the smoke and the peat actually covers it really, really well. So even though I would say it got a lot of warmth in the chest, I'm not necessarily getting a lot of big bite on the palate. Wow, but a little of this goes a long way. Now, what would I score on its own? Number one, it doesn't have a huge development. It's sort of a one chord song or a three chord song, you know, P 
peat, smoke, and some sweetness from front to the middle and to the finish. What lingers is sort of black, charry, burnt wood. If it didn't have that sweetness in the middle, I would give it a, actually give it a total pass. This is a difficult one to score because I find it to be, on its own, a difficult whiskey to drink by itself. On ice, ice didn't really help it that much. Adding water to it, water didn't help it that much. What I found that I really liked about this whiskey is that it makes an absolutely great accompaniment to an Ardbeg 10 rolled or some other lightly or lighter peated, not intense whiskey. So if you wanna add some oomph, if you wanna add some fieriness, if you want to add some intensity to an Ardbeg 10 or going the other way, back off the intensity of the Ardbeg Scorch, then just add a little bit of Ardbeg 10 Now, it's much more in balance. Now, I'm actually getting some lemon and lime green character that I would get from the Ardbeg 10. So I'm getting the rich barbecue sauce from the Ardbeg Scorch, getting a little bit of that lemon lime character. The smoke is out and, and the peatiness is brought a little bit more into a balance. It's still got a lot of richness to it, so it gives it a little bit more uh, of a transition. But I had that same thing with the Ardbeg Supernova. I find it's more of a whiskey that I'm gonna use to add some oomph to another whiskey. On its own, this is not a whiskey that I don't think, at least at this point, that I'm gonna be able to go dram after dram after dram and finish the bottle. So that makes it really difficult to score and difficult to recommend. But that is the place of this whiskey. I don't find it's, it's balanced. I don't think it has a lot of complexity to it. It has a lot of depth. It doesn't have a lot of breadth. Do I like it? Yes. What am I give in terms of a score? I'm actually gonna go 87 points, 87 points. Uh, typically, a lot of the Ardbeg uh, committee releases, I go over, end up going over 90 points because I really, really like them. Uh, this is just, on its own, not a greatly balanced or complex whiskey. And that's the only issue I have with it. Now, I have two bottles of this. I was fortunate enough to pick up one for about 150 bucks or so. Anybody selling for more than 200 bucks, you're absolutely insane. I'm glad I bought two bottles of it because I'm gonna continue to use it and play around with it to add character, some more intensely peated character to some other whiskeys. So I like it. I think it plays a role in my uh, whiskey collection, uh, but on its own, for me, it's not a drinker for not, not a drinker. Now, I know there's some other whiskey tubers out there who are gonna disagree with me or other consumers who are gonna disagree with me. If you have tried this, I wanna hear your opinion on this whiskey. I think it's a controversial bottle that opinions are gonna roll all over the place. If you don't like this super intense, heavily peated, you know, sort of in your face whiskeys, then this is not for you. If that is what you're looking for, then this is definitely one you're gonna to wanna to pick up but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go over retail. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go, you know, I definitely wouldn't go over $200 for, for this bottle. Um, I, it's not a disappointment, but I'm not in love with it either. I'm just sort of in, in the middle. And that's uh, my honest perception and review of this whiskey. Alrighty, if you subscribe to this channel, I wanna thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, if you like watching my reviews, uh, subscribe to this channel. Ring the bell to be notified when I go live. And if you are one of my Patreon supporters, I wanna thank you very much. Until next time, Slanjiva. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.